than it takes for the groom to make love on his wedding night. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that was a joke. Was it? Thank you, good night. Now, seriously, uh, Billy and I have been waiting a really long time for today. For Michael to find his special someone, someone he can really talk to. So he stopped calling Billy and I at 10 o'clock. <laughs> so on this occasion, Mine and Billy's special evening. I just jotted down a few words I'd like to read. Greg, right, where are you? This is my speech. This is the 45 minute speech Michael gave at his daughter's wedding. you who don't know me, I'm Chuck, Michael's cousin. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Chuck. That's just my nickname. My real name is uh, Charles, what will you have? So if you see me at the bar later, just please address me by my full name. <laughs> okay, seriously. So, <laughs> Michael's mother, man. Jane, who's no longer with us, and my father, Newt, who are sister and brother. And they came from the same long line of girl-producing Irish Catholics. Woo! He was a single son with five sisters. I was a single son with four sisters. Fortunately for us, we were born only one year apart, so we got to be growing up together. There has been <laughs> yeah. There's never been a moment I haven't known Michael in my entire life. And uh, whenever we were together, we were inseparable partners in crime. <laughs> By the age of 10, we were expert tree climbers. We were testers of explosives, train spotters, songwriters, deep woods explorers, Spies, spitters of bottles, and disassemblers of many things. <laughs> we were paratrooper wannabes, dog trainers, and even haunted house designers. Sorry, Nicole. <laughs> we were Spider Man, Tarzan, Evil Knievel, and the Six Million Dollar Man all wrapped up in the one. Except Michael was kind of a crappy Tarzan, <laughs> as a scar on his behind will attest to. <laughs> if you buy me some drinks at the bar later, I'll give you more detail. <laughs> we also trained for a very long time to be the world's foremost experts in marksmanship with paper clips and rubber bands, <laughs> which earned us some degree of recognition by the Gloucester City Police Department. <laughs> it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> but even with all of these accomplishments and responsibilities as young lads, we never neglected our studies of human anatomy through our grandfather's collection of National Geographic magazines. <laughs> and the powder room wallpaper. <laughs> More on the powder room wallpaper in a minute. <laughs> so the point of telling you all this is that I wanted to reassure to Christina's family what a great man she married today. <laughs> and I mean by this. If I had to pick a few words to describe Michael to somebody who didn't know him, I would say he's funny, first. He's mm -hmm. kind. Family means a lot to him. He's very considerate of others. And the first time I met Christina, she told me the favorite thing 
her favorite thing about Michael is that he's genuine. And he really is. Yeah. So when you turn 50 years old, as I have already, it takes a lot for somebody to really make you laugh so hard the tears come to your eyes and your stomach hurts and you wonder whether you're going to be able to suck in one more breath before you pass out. <laughs> Michael and I have shared more moments than that that I can count back up. <laughs> and some of them recently. <laughs> so you don't always remember what's funny about it, but you do remember the feeling. And for most of us, those moments don't come often enough. And they are some of the best moments that life has to offer, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, that's the Michael I know. That's the man Christina married. And now he will be that for her. So, uh, if I'm honest, I'm a little bit jealous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's all mine. <laughs> Michael, thank you for the honor of being your best man tonight. It's the least I could do. You have been that for me for over 50 years. Mm. He is the brother, closest thing to a brother I ever had. Mm. Okay, now more on the uh, powder in the wallpaper. <laughs> My grandfather had a very good sense of humor, our grandfather. And, uh, in 1955, he installed wallpaper in the powder room. The best way I could describe it, I'll just picture this, the room had 11 foot ceilings, and from about chest high, all the way to heaven, as far as I was concerned, <laughs> was what I would call uh, pictures of completely nude Greco-Roman goddesses. <laughs> And that wallpaper was such a fixture in the house that it stayed there for 60 years. <laughs> Nobody would paint over this or replace it. No, Several no. years ago, the house was sold. But not before my father had the foresight to save a little bit of it. Chuck, and the house burnt down. It survived a fire, too. <laughs> I'm giving this to you, Michael. As I know, he inherited some of our grandfather's sense of humor. I hope that he'll want to hang this in his powder room as well. <laughs> and as the best man, I feel honored to uh, present the very first test of their marriage. <laughs> Not that there isn't any woman in this room that wouldn't be proud to display this in their power. Okay with that? I think I'd like to end with a uh, blessing that probably everybody in this room is already familiar with, but I modified it slightly. Not in a bad way. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your backs. May the sun shine warm upon your faces, the rains fall softly on your fields, and for the rest of your lives together, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I think now I may more fairly say thank you and good night. <laughs> Please raise your glasses and let's toast. Mr. and Mrs. Michael McIntyre. More time is jump. Big round of applause for our best fan there.